Just be the real you. Because you're the only you we've got. Now we got different options. We got three main pillars of what we want to do at the Ravens. Win football games and play great football. Great uh, fan engagement and great fan experience. And then the third one, which is just as important, is our community impact. <laughs> Anytime we can lend our time to, you know, efforts like these, we, we know it can be impactful. Uh, and we hope that maybe it inspires just one person to go out and do the same. Sauce, sauce, sauce. A number of players here that have their own foundations and they do different events and for us to come together as a team and to do this together I think it's really awesome you know it's for the Ravens to constantly be doing this and allowing players and everyone in the community to come and to really rebuild the community I mean it's a lot. Let's go around it, around it. Why not you know give back and show them that we appreciate them and everything they do for us so everyone is just cycling and just trying to help and it's just that's just the type of player that, you know, a Ravens guy is. And, you know, it feels good to see your teammates just coming out here and helping and, you know, doing what's right. Let me ask you a question. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a football player and I want to be just like you. Just like me? I want you to be better than me. The best part of doing anything charitable is that connection you get with the people that you're helping. Every time, they're always so grateful, so appreciative and uh, they have this like just genuine like smile on their faces that just you know, creates an internal happiness inside me and uh, it's just really cool to be able to like go back and, and help and bless other people as well so it's a really good feeling. Tag him, tag him, he tag, he tag. An extra smile you know just being in the position as a younger kid just seeing you know those those older guys you know coming back so love and so being able to do that today and seeing the smiles you put on their faces is just the world. <laughs> when I was in second grade I, I would like you know, an item of mine or something like that, to come back and read to us. And for me to do it, you know, it was a no-brainer. I wanted to get out here and read to the kids, you know, and let them know you can dream and be whatever you want to be. I think a lot of people kind of look up to us, and it prompts, you know, the future one day. I'll be old and wrinkly, and, and, and these kids might be taking care of me. So you, you never know how it goes, and I think it, it comes full circle. It means a lot to uh, just be here hanging out with the different families and seeing how much joy you bring and just seeing a smile it can light up a room and it can change a day. So I'm just grateful to be in this position and able to give back and just be here and witness it. Yeah.